Hi, my name is Michael Botcher, and you're watching The Garage here on WAI.com. And this week, we got some breaking news. I got a new suit jacket. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Anyways, this is use of time. They came by to do some rock and roll and funk for us. Check it out. rocking out for us and I got their front man Mike Valadez thanks for coming by Thank you. and introduce me to the band right to my left is Dave he's a drummer Kiko is a guitar player Lewis the other guitar player and Henry our bass man here in the garage we are starting to bring back some of the bands that have played for us before and this would be your second time how do you how'd you like it this time it was a lot uh, it was very enjoyable all right now uh, one thing that's different is that we have a new band member tell us about her uh, her name is Crystal. She joined the band, what, back in November? In the fall. Yeah, in the fall? All right, Crystal, so, you know, give me the scoop. What's it like to play in a band with a bunch of dudes like this? It's horrible. Nah, just like, <laughs> nah. It's great. These guys are awesome. We have a good time all the time. She's a diva. We don't listen to this guy. <laughs> so how did you join the band? Did they ask you? Did you talk to them? Well, actually, I met him where we work at Luther's, yeah, work and there. he asked me to come audition. I did, and boom, right after that, we just we, we started. We used to jam out after work together, so, we, uh, you know, she would audition acoustically outside of work, and then she actually auditioned, and it worked out well, so. Now, please, I, I need a few tips here. How do you do that hair? How do, how do you get that hair so wonderful? Forever, to be honest with you. Don't even try it. It's a waste of time. <laughs> All right. Well, so Use of Time has been doing some big things. Tell us about what y'all have been up to since the last time y'all have been here. Uh, we just recently played a, a show over at Stubbs in Austin with a band called Full Service. They were just on tour with 311, Slightly Stupid, and um, Shooty's Groove. 
Um, that was a really great show for us. Uh, we're going to be putting out our CD July 25th at Sam's Burger Joint with a new band called Othello and our uh, homeboys Deep in the Heart. We love Deep in the Heart here in the garage. I hear they're coming in July. But anyways, uh, we rhymed a little bit. You played Stubbs, man. How cool is that? Tell us about you know what it's like to play at one of the coolest venues of all time. Uh, it was awesome to get to be in the same green room where all these national acts come through. And uh, we made uh, use of that refrigerator, let's say that. <laughs> we finished all the beer. <laughs> what kind of beer did they have in the green room at Stubbs? It was, um, it was a, like a home brew. It was some sort of Texas beer. Uh, I'd never heard of it. It was a green label. Whatever it was, I'm sure it was delicious because they drank all of it. Now, before we talk about the new CD, why don't you tell us about the first song you played today. What's it called? The first song is called Catchman. It actually isn't on the CD. It'll uh, probably be on our next one. Okay. And uh, what's that song about? Oh, Catchman. It's, um, it's actually about a kind of a messed up relationship, trying to bring back things that shouldn't be, but yet you still make them work. Okay. Now, uh, you know, when y'all are jamming out, how do y'all go about, you know, coming up with the tunes? It's a really a, a process that goes between Lewis and Henry. Uh, you know, they come up with their arrangements. Henry always puts it all together. And from there, we kind of just structure it out and, and lay it out. All right, I'm going to talk to these guys. Now, so when you know you're coming up with the riffs, what's going through your mind? Are you just like trying to come up with a cool riff or do you just get inspired? Yeah, actually, man, if I come up with something cool, this guy here always has my back, and he helps me arrange it and put it together. So it always, it's always it been like that since day one. So I usually come up with the original riff, and then he'll help me structure it. Uh, and sometimes I'll help him structure it, too, so it just goes both ways. So. You know, step over here in the light, brother. Um, you know, that bass guitar, i got to say, was one of the most awesome-sounding bass tones I've ever heard here in the garage. So... Talk to us about, you know, how the bass kind of drives some of that funkiness to this band. Well, just make it sound really powerful. I, I like Chili Peppers and 311 and stuff like that. So I've brought all my influences to the band, you know, and, and just try to make it sound very fun and happy. You know, we're going to be having a fun and happy time at Sam's Burger Joint, right? Tell us about it. Um, well, the event, like I said, is on Wednesday, July 25th. A uh, band, a brand new band called Othello, will be making their debut performance. And uh, once again, deep in the heart, our very good friends will be uh, opening for us. Now, Sam's Burger Joint, of all places to pick, why, why Sam's? It's Let's. Great, uh, it's a great venue. We've always wanted to play there. Um, it's centrally located, and it's got a great park. I mean, it's just perfect. You know, I mean. To us, we think. And uh, there's no cover charge. Uh, if you're over 21, if you're under 21, it's $3. But it's pretty good, and we're just excited to play there. Now, this is an extra special show for you, right? Tell us about the opening band. Okay, the opening band, uh, they're called Othello, and um, they're a bunch of young young kids. Uh, well, they're in high school now, you know. They're, they're up and coming. They're very talented artists. Um, my son's in the band. He's a drummer. But anyway, that's something that's... Hold on, hold on. I just want to say, ah, that's so awesome, dude. Seriously, that is really cool. What's it like to be able to play a show with your kid? It's awesome. I can't wait. You know, I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. It's been a while. And now we have an opportunity. And um, you know, I asked him, and I said, tell him to ask the band what they think, and they were all in for it. So we're excited, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Now, I love Sam's Burger Joint because they have like 8,000 pound burgers. Um, I just recommend only eating a half a burger before you play. <laughs> because you don't want to pass out. Now at the CD release, I hear you going to be giving away some shirts or some CDs. What's going on with that? We are going to be, everyone who attends is going to get a free CD. Uh, we're going to have door prizes, uh, lots of surprises. We're not going to tell you because you have to go, because it's not going to be a surprise if you don't go. I'm pretty excited to uh, check out the CD release. Now, uh, if someone wants to get the music online, where can they go? Uh, www.reverbnation.com backslash use of time essay and you can always visit our Facebook www.facebook.com backslash use of time essay please like us follow us on Twitter and anything and everything use of time is that's where you'll find it okay now I want you to look in this camera right over here and introduce the next song for us and say it like you mean it this next song is called when I choose to <laughs> 